What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a neon logo in Photoshop. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. You can grab this template from the Envato Elements page linked in the video description. By signing up for Envato Elements, you get access to this particular template and thousands of additional add-ons, plugins and templates for Photoshop and other creative apps. The download process is quick and easy. Once downloaded, you'll find the file in your downloads folder, usually compressed. On a Windows PC, right-click the zip file and choose to extract it in your downloads folder. The process is similar on your Mac. After extracting the file, a new folder will open up containing the template file. When this is done, launch Photoshop and then Drag and drop the Neon Sign Effect logo mockup file into Photoshop to open it up. It might take a second to load, and then you can preview the current Neon effect. Remove the background by toggling the visibility of the background layers. Next, to edit the Neon Sign text, double click the We Are Text thumbnail in your Layers panel first. It might take a second for the Photoshop tab to open up. Replace this smart object with a new text layer and type anything you want. I'll type Tekhau. Delete the previous layer and then adjust the text size and font. After adding a new text layer, right-click the layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Feel free to import logo file instead, but make sure you're using a PNG file with a transparent background if you want to apply the Neon effect to your logo. When using the Ctrl and S shortcut on PC, or Command and S on Mac, you save these layers and the changes will be automatically applied to your original Neon Effect Photoshop project. Head back to the previous file to see how the text changed. Double-click the Open Text layer and proceed to create a new text layer again. I'll type Tutorials and save my changes to this file. If your text ends up too large or small, you can head back to the other tab and resize your layer with Ctrl and T on PC or Command and T on a Mac. Save your changes and head back to the primary Photoshop file. Next, after editing the image, select the Change Color layer and proceed to adjust the color hue, saturation and lightness. I'd leave the lightness level at zero as it seems to create the best neon effect. I'll also disable the background layer visibility or replace it with a differently colored background to see how I want the Neon effect to look like. Before exporting your project, expand the Effect Layers folder. This allows you to disable or change the star shapes, change their colors and size, or replace them with a different asset. You also have the option to adjust the glow effect of your Neon sign. Double-click the Smart Object thumbnail and the Layer Style window will open up. From here, adjust the Auto Glow and Shadow settings. Lastly, head to File in the toolbar and select Save a Copy. Next, rename the file and change the file type to PNG if you're exporting an image with a transparent background, or JPEG if you kept the background. You created a Neon Style logo in Photoshop. Experiment with different colors and text to create unique Neon designs. These steps and more information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.